So around seven years ago, I was working as a new manager uh, in a small technology company. And I had my yearly performance review and, you know, the feedback was pretty great. But uh, all of a sudden, my manager says, well, you are now a quality leader and I would expect you to present and start uh, talking in front of people at the conference. And uh, me being uh, an introvert and as much as I like adventure, I mean, speaking in front of 100 people was way on the bottom of my bucket list, like not in any plans. But nevertheless, it's uh, feedback I got from my manager. I went to a test conference uh, a few weeks after that, and they had an opportunity to sign up for a lightning talk. So I made up my mind, I put my name there, and I went up on stage and I spoke in front. Actually, I think there were like 300 people in that room for five minutes about continuous delivery, which I cared deeply about. And it actually wasn't too bad, uh, even though I've never done it before. Uh, so fast forward, since then, I've spoken at conferences across the world. I've done keynotes. And even though every time I need to go up, I still get nervous and I'm still thinking, why am I doing this? I think signing up for that lightning talk was the best thing I've ever done for myself. And so why did I want to share this uh, with all of you? Um, I think that uh, taking such an opportunity is something that you owe to yourself. Uh, public speaking and communication are two of the top skills that you would need at any workplace, right? And speaking in front of the audiences on topics that you care about gives you that experience and it will help you in your day-to-day -day work. It's also an amazing networking opportunity. Going to the conferences, meeting other speakers, meeting other people who come to listen to you, uh, you keep learning new things uh, every time. So even though I come to a conference to share, I always come away with new knowledge that I start using in my next presentation. Uh, it's also a great opportunity to learn, as I said, like new things. Uh, it's a great opportunity to travel as well, right? Going to conferences, you find yourself in places you might never have gone to uh, for your vacation, but yet, you know, you keep seeing new places. Uh, so how, how do you get there? Uh, like if you didn't sign up for a lightning talk today, like what would I suggest you do? Uh, so one, find a topic that you're very, very passionate about, right? You shouldn't speak for the sake of speaking, but I am pretty confident that every one of you here has something that they know or they've done in their past experiences that would be interesting to other people. Uh, so find, find that and start thinking about how would you share it with an audience. Uh, write up your bio, and many people might already have it, but Anytime you apply to speak somewhere, they ask to share your bio because they want to know who you are. So think about what have you accomplished, what are the things you want to share with people about yourself. Uh, start some, somewhere small. Uh, I think within your company is probably the best place, right? Every company has uh, brown bags and lunch and learns, and if they don't, organize it. Um, you know, schedule one hour with your team and talk about the topic you're excited about. Uh, or what you can do within your own company is also is organize lightning talks and let other people give them an opportunity to speak for five minutes in front of their colleagues. Uh, look for local meetups, right? There are meetups everywhere. Anna has a, a New York City testers meetup. I have a meetup in New Jersey. And we're always looking for uh, professionals, engineers, managers, Anyone who is willing to come and share, like, uh, we will be open for, for an opportunity for you to come and speak. Also, Anna mentioned this already, but finding a mentor or a group of people that you can practice with, who can listen to you and give you feedback is very, very important. So if you haven't heard of uh, it already, there is a group called Toastmasters, and a lot of companies uh, have that, but it's basically an organization that helps you to come and practice uh, presenting and public speaking. So if uh, you're not sure how to start, join that group and they'll prepare you really, really well. Uh, and then uh, think about where you want to present. If you're a tester, test conference is probably a great place to start, but don't limit yourself to that, right? There are great uh, engineering development conferences where actually not too many testers come and speak, so they might be very excited to have someone from the other side uh, to talk about their experiences. So 
I wanted to share that with you. I was originally thinking about talking about something technical, but as a program chair for this uh, conference, you know, we're always looking for exciting presentations for new presenters, and I just wanted to advise you to take an opportunity and hopefully we'll see your proposals next year uh, for Contest NYC. Thank you. Any questions? Yes, please. So, <clears throat> like, 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 I, like I mentioned with Anna, what, what advice would you essentially give to a software tech where if you could only give one advice, what, what would be the main essential advice? Don't limit yourself to just uh, testing. And that, that was, I think, the most eye-opening experience for me as a tester when I realized that uh, quality is not just about testing the product. Quality is also about the process. Uh, and you need to think about uh, the delivery cycle from the time that the idea forms up and to the time that customers are using your product. And as a tester and someone who always thinks about quality, you could influence every stage of that, how the uh, requirements get written, how uh, developers uh, deploy their code, how they do their code reviews, how the code gets deployed to production, and also how our customers actually feel about your product. Uh, so I think uh, Ali j uh, just said it before me, right? It's uh, QA is not just uh, you know a column in your process. Quality spans across the whole thing. So. Think outside of the box, and you'll find yourself doing a lot of exciting things outside of just finding bugs. Any other questions? All right, thank you.